In this video we will go over a technique to edge wood. We have started by doing an edge molding with a router. This molding makes the shape of this side surface less straight. More in line with what would be a classic form of a board. What we are always going to do is to sand while respecting as much as possible the direction of the grain. Although the board is large we're working with a mouse sander with a triangular head. It is an angular sander. Why are we using this? Because in restoration we reach difficult corners, and this type of sanders will be very useful for this kind of jobs. Let's do the second step now. This is one of the somewhat bizarre tools of this work. Inside this bundle that I bring, I have put screws and metallic anchors. In general, you can put any object that marks the wood when we hit it. One of the characteristics of antique woods is that the surface is usually a little deteriorated, a little damaged. To imitate antiquity we also need to imitate the passage of time on the wood, and since we don't have a few years to wait for it to deteriorate, we have to do it ourselves. If you look in detail, when we approach the wood, we see that there have appeared some irregularities, small marks that prevent us from having that smooth, perfect feeling, from a new wood. Let's give a background so that it allows us to obtain the tone that old wood has. We're going to do it with a wood dye. We have chosen a very light tone, a light oak. Let's dilute it with some water. We always work with a cloth nearby, because any excessive dye, or any product we apply, has to be immediately removed so that it does not remain uneven. Look how as we're giving the color, those blows that before we could barely see, are now emerging to the surface and they are clearly seen. Once we have given this layer, we will continue the aging process. As many times old woods have woodworm, we are going to force the image of the woodworm holes a little so that we can also have that irregularity, which is common in old woods. We are going to use a nail and a hammer. The nail should not be too thin, but also not too thick. We must remember that what we can have in wood are woodworms, not mice. Sometimes imitations are made with nails so big that it seems impossible for a woodworm to be what is inside. It is important that the holes are a little deep because if don't, when we put the next treatment, what's going to happen is that it's going to overflow very quickly, and it's going to stain too much around the holes, we've made a few holes. You must calculate how much woodworm attack you want to represent on your furniture. Let's give a pattern of aging now. We make this platina using for example Betune de Judea or Black Walnut Ink. We will dilute it with its appropriate solvent, turpentine or water. We will dilute the Betune de Judea approximately to 50% so that it doesn't darker too much either. For this job we're going to put on some latex gloves. Otherwise, since it is not a water-based application, it will be very difficult to clean our hands. We will give the dye so that it is mixed in a not excessively regular way with the black round. We're applying and removing. We're always working in the direction of the grain. 
not only because it is the natural way in which stains and darkening of wood occur, but also because that way we impregnate better when applying it. We will also apply it on the edges so that they match. This is the effect that wood has. Sometimes the brown tone background that we gave it emerges. Whitish areas are marked stronger with the black of the new dye. It is the normal process that we can find in any old wood. The highlight of the knots. And we can also see how our woodworm holes have been. As usual, darker than the rest of the wood. This is the moment when it's time to rest a little bit. We have to let it dry. The wood is already dry, so what we're going to do next is the last phase. The last phase is waxing it. A waxed piece of furniture is not only protected but it also allows us to highlight all the tones of the wood. Giving it shine in the areas that were so far a little dark due to the dark inner. When we finish an area with this circular motion, we also help it a little bit to penetrate well, applying it in the direction of the grain. It's a very simple technique. Now that board could be the top of a table, and we could almost say that we have an antique piece of furniture.